Hey guys, I am so excited to show you this recipe. It is so versatile. This is a staple in my house. I prep this ahead of time. I use it in eggs, in soups, in stir fries. This is my chicken meatball recipe. It's so easy and so versatile. Check this out. Hidden in this bowl is two pounds of ground chicken. I know you guys don't, some of you don't like seeing the raw chicken on camera. I get it, trust. Okay, so two pounds of ground raw chicken. We're gonna add half a cup of breadcrumbs. I use gluten-free breadcrumbs. Half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I always love freshly grated, if you guys can do that. So I've showed you guys how to do this before. This is something that I make. I use this in a ton of recipes. It's just onion, shaved red bell pepper that's minced, cooked with the onion, and then I added a little bit of Italian flat leaf parsley. Look at how beautiful that is. So I've actually filmed a video before for you guys, because a lot of times I'll prep this ahead, keep it in my fridge, and then again, toss it into different things that I make, reimagine it in different ways. You guys know I love doing that. So we're gonna dump this in, and it adds color and flavor, it's beautiful. So now we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, I love garlic salt. Half a teaspoon of regular salt, little bit of brag amino acid, and I love adding Worcestershire sauce. Whenever I'm making meatballs, whether it's chicken, turkey, or ground beef, I always add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I also usually add brag and Worcestershire whenever I make burgers too. I just love those flavors, and I'm gonna add them to my meatballs. I'm gonna mix this all together. You don't wanna over mix, because then the meatballs can get kind of dense and mealy. You just wanna do a light mix until everything is just combined. So sometimes what I do is I'll put my gloves on and just give it a nice little mix, which I'm gonna do now. It doesn't look super appetizing, but when these things are all cooked and golden brown, oh, you guys are gonna love it. The gloves are going on. Again, you don't wanna overwork it. You just wanna make sure everything is mixed. The Parmesan cheese is really nice because it helps to bind with the breadcrumbs. So this is a perfect size meatball. You guys, this recipe is so versatile, which is why I was so excited to share this with you and my kids love it. Snuck a couple extra little veggies in there for them. Like I said, you can use them in eggs, in salads, in stir fries. I'll also just pop them back in the oven, heat them up, stick a toothpick in there. They could be really great little appetizers too. Okay, so these are ready to fry. So we're gonna do a little fry, golden brown, it gets them to keep their shape, and then we pop them in the oven, and they're done, golden brown, beautiful. Oh, they're so good, check this out. What we're doing now is a little bit of organic canola oil, because I fry most of my stuff in canola oil because it has a higher smoke point than olive oil and it won't flavor your food if you don't want an olive oil flavor. So canola oil is my go-to. So let's see if this is hot. I don't recommend doing this at home. This is just how my mom taught me to check if oil's hot. Not yet. She taught me you flick it and once you hear the little sizzle, it's ready. Do not do this at home because <laughs> it's not the safest way to check is just the way that my mom taught me. And yes, she taught me an unsafe way, whatever, it's complicated. So you don't have to do this step. You can forego this step and put them right into the oven, 400 degrees. With my um, little fry step, they'll be done in about 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. Now it's ready, okay. So without the fry step, I would check them after about 25 minutes. So again, this is just to help with that golden brown and to help keep their shape. And you wanna kinda get them in there quickly so they all cook at the same time. I know with two pounds of ground chicken, I do two batches. After they're in and they start cooking a little bit, I'll go in and just kinda nudge them a little bit to make sure they don't stick to the bottom. And then you just let them cook for a couple minutes on each side. And you'll notice when I flip them over how nice and golden brown they get. Again, you don't have to do this step, but these kind of little steps just elevate it, you know? And I, I love these little kind of elevations for any dish. So again, if you're not super comfortable with oil like this, just be really careful, you guys. I do this all the time, so I know all of my cookware. I know my, how my, um, my tools and things work. I, I mean, just because I cook so much. So I know that I could put my hands in here and kind of touch this stuff 
just at home, just be really careful, especially if you're, you know, new to this kind of stuff. I'll flip them over and then after they cook on the other side is when you just kind of roll them around and brown them on all the sides. But first, let's just do this. Who doesn't love a meatball? You know, it's like in our DNA. In Jersey, we love a meatball. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe it's a Jersey thing. Who doesn't love a meatball, you know? Okay, we're gonna let that cook. And then after this side cooks for a couple minutes, I'll just kind of flip it around on the other side and then just take them out because they're really gonna cook in the oven. Again, this is just to kind of get a little bit of brownie and keep their shape. Yeah, so I just kind of roll them around and if I see like a, a raw piece on the edge, I'll kind of just get that. And then I take them out pretty quickly. Again, I know how my pans work and I make this recipe a lot, so I'm very comfortable sticking my hands in there. So just be careful at home. Okay, so these are ready to come out. So I'm just gonna pop them right over here. I love this extra little step. It does make a big difference. I make my beef meatballs the same way. Beef and turkey, swap out the protein. I make it the same way. So this is just the outside. They're not cooked all the way through because after this, we're gonna pop them into the oven. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the next batch. Wash hands. So these just came out of the oil. And now we're just gonna put them onto some parchment paper. And then we're gonna pop them into a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're cooked through into the oven. It's gonna be good. All right. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Okay, so there we go. They are beautiful. Let's cut into one. Make sure it's, oh, those are perfectly cooked. This is great. Okay, so we're done. Yummy prepped chicken meatballs. Wow, those are perfect. Okay, so check out my stories. I'll show you some fun ways that I'm gonna reimagine these into different meals. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another video. And I'll see you guys soon.